you're gonna peel them. You know what, Danny? Why don't you screw it? Dog Company, listen up! Men on the beaches are counting on us to take out the coastal guns on those cliffs! Move fast, get topside, and get the job done! Yes, sir. Boys and girls, welcome back to Rudy Tootie Call of Duty Tooie. Hey, yeah, we are getting shot quite a bit. Let's go. Oh, no, we're dead. Totally not inspired by any movie that was made before this based on a similar subject matter. Entirely an original thought. On that topic, the uh, dude driving the boat was actually the correct uh, nationality. Are you Lieutenant Coffee? Are you my lieutenant? I think you're my lieutenant. That was one of the gripes that people had with Saving Private Ryan, that the people driving the boats were American. What's up, Lieutenant? Like... People were just mad about things being mad about things. They were using that as an excuse as to, like, we were trying to, uh, erase the, uh, British people's role in D-Day. Not we, but, like, the people making the film. Oh, it wasn't glowing. Okay, you're Sergeant Randall. I don't know who Lieutenant Coffee is. I think he was the, just some dude in the boat. But yeah, for those of you that care, a lot of the people that were driving the boats on D-Day were uh, British and not American, and sucks to suck, buddy. That's one thing that Saving Private Ryan technically got air quotes incorrect if you want to be mad about it. I don't see why people really care, but people find reasons to care about things, so... Anywho, up the rope we go. I don't know why I have a sniper rifle and a sub, but we do. That guy is full sending. That is Forrest Gump's grandfather. We're running into the problem again where my friendly AR are coming from where the Germans are supposed to be. And the Germans are shooting me from where my friendly AI are. Like, you're my friend, you're not. You guys are right beside each other. Private Zampella. Vince, I need you to shoot back, buddy. Thank God I'm not on veteran. Again, for those of you that actually care, no, I'm not on veteran. I apologize if that ruins your immersion, but we are just here. Why are you guys coming from this way? I was reloading, so you're lucky. Um, he said something about smoke grenades, so there. We'll smoke that off. And now we go forward. Please stop shooting me. I have a smoke grenade. Oh, hi, boys. Hi. I don't know what you guys were doing down here. That door is closed. You guys were just down here because you were. That's fine, I guess. It might be blasphemy, but I don't know how long I'm going to stick with the, uh, the Springfield. It's the first time we've got it, so I'm enjoying it for the time being, but that Gewehr is uh, looking mighty fine in terms of just more enjoyable gameplay. I missed that guy. I missed him again. Didn't miss a third time, though. All right. That's the dude that voices Sergeant Hawkins in Big Red 1, which is the game we'll be playing next. He has a very distinctive voice, and he's present throughout the first few Call of Duties. I probably pointed that out at some point in, uh... CODs 1 and probably my COD 4 playthrough, because I'm pretty sure he's in those. Rich 
Honestly, that's valid. Hitler doesn't care about a lot of things, like winning the war. Or else he would have made a, some better decisions, possibly, regarding where he invested his resources. Not that I am, like, a super-duper 100% factual person when it comes to, like, World War II history, but it is a topic that interests me enough that I know some stuff about it. Hitler wanted some pretty goofy things in the grand scheme of things, like the Gustav cannons. He thought those were more important than jets. Which, of course, hindsight's 2020, knowing what we know now. Gustav cannons probably are one of the dumber things you could have wasted resources on, but... Um, that's, that's the end of that thought. I don't know why I said but. Where did you... Hold that. It's scary to think about what could have been, I guess, is my point. Like, what if... Hitler actually listened to the people that were under him. And, like, took their advice and, like... Actually used the brains of the think tank he had around him. Can I use this? I haven't got a chance to use this one yet. I got to use the MG42, though. Ah, of course, I finally get to use the 30 cal, and there's no one to shoot. Tragic. Whoops. Dude, my mouse is stuck on something. My mouse cable's coiled up, that's the problem. This is why you shoot wireless mice, boys and girls. The cables literally can't be coiled on a wireless mouse. Not to ruin anyone's immersion, I actually think my mouse is stuck on something behind my desk and it's making it hard to move. Oh my god. That guy technically wasn't spawned in until the half-track stops. Can I please get over this? Thank you. Good shot, dude. Honestly, good shot. That is a nasty head glitch I was on, and you actually hit me. Nah, I lied. I like the Springfield. I think my, my earlier episodes were just ruined because the Lee infield was horrible. Excuse you. The Lee infield was horrible and I don't think I had a lot of missions with the Mosin. Alright, let's go. Was there another way you guys came in? Where'd you guys come from? We found him. Get in there and fix him with your thermite grenades. Um, okay. Patrols. I'll take the ones on this side. Um, oh, up here. Wait. Why there? I thought the point of this was to put it in the breach. Is that the breach? Also, I hear a very angry German speaking. Where is the very angry German? Is that my character? Am I the angry German? Dude, who is talking? I'm going insane. I don't think that's how that works, but... Maybe I'm stupid. I'm not a not a munitions expert. I didn't serve in World War II. Also thinking out loud, thinking ahead though the Call of Duty World War II. Did you guys find those guns? Damn right we got them. Is there a reason Sergeant Randall and, Sar and Lieutenant Taylor look? So similar, was that on purpose? 
Because Lieutenant Taylor looks identical to Sergeant Randall. If they planned that ahead 12 years, kudos to them for having that big of a brain. If it's a happy accident, it worked out. Oh my god, good grenades, good grenades. Don't mind me, bro. Don't mind me. Don't shoot me. Please don't shoot me. I need you guys grenades if you have any. Jump peek. Excuse you. Just die, bro. Okay, he's dead. see what's going on back this way because we lost this part of the world I guess what up private respectfully turned on dude my friendly AI just zoomed past this guy like they had no interest in shooting him You a German? Nope, you're Private Fisher. Your descendants might have been German, but you're safe for the time being. Alright, I guess I have to be closer to this for it to happen. my objective secure the bunkers on point to ha got it night um hold that for me boys you survived that you sir deserve something um let's go to this one first i guess even though i think i already cleared that Maybe I didn't clear the bottom part. Maybe he wants us to go into the bunkers. Are you alive? You are alive. You're just dumb. You're even dumber. Again, dude, stop. Stop with the uh, stop with the being dramatic. Now I only have 19 bullets. Probably not a good idea to do what I'm doing. And I also went the wrong way. I assumed that would go into the bunker I wanted it to go into. Um, I need your MP40s. Please stop shooting me. Okay. Two more bunkers left. So I definitely cleared the bunker the way that it wanted me to clear it. It just... They repopulated it, I suppose. So what about that one? Both of my objectives are over here. They probably want me to go through the trench, and that would be the safe option, but... I like to live by my own rules, and... It appears everybody's dead, so... Yeah, there was one dude in this bunker. What about this one, though? This one looks like a complex. Alright, so let's be smart about it. That bounced into his room. Smoke it off and shoot it. I cannot see who I'm shooting. There are officers in here. Interesting. I've kind of made my... my own worst enemy happen because... enemies and smoke grenades will just literally melee you to death instantly. 
but it's going away. So where's the guy that I need to kill? Ooh. Oh, there's a side room. I didn't even see this door. Fair enough. I am not even going to pretend I knew this room was here. All right, what's going on, boys? That is a lot of information at one time. I hope you're not telling me to do that. I can only hit F on so many things at once. Sergeant Randall, it'd be much safer over there. 